Good morning, everyone. My name is Chris Beth Cowie. I'm the founder of Empowered Facts and the host of BizGrams. Each weekday, I have the pleasure of oftentimes bringing to you dynamic entrepreneurs. He is a familiar face. Ryan O'Neill Knight, one of my business partners and close friend, um, is he, again here with us today. Ryan, how are you doing? Yes, I muscled my way on today. And important <laughs> news, the money is coming, people. We have to get the money. Don't, don't, yes. Okay. I want to Hey, thank you very much, Chris Beth, for allowing me to fit in. Hey, I, I appreciate you and value you. And I love your enthusiasm. You can see I'm just like, I'm bubbling right now. <laughs> hey, you talk about money. And, you know, it is something that I hear entrepreneurs oftentimes saying, I'm looking for funding. I need funding. And one of the things that we know as we've been working in the community is a lot of our entrepreneurs may not be ready to take full advantage of getting access to the funds. So what recommendations do you have right off the the top of the bat they need to have an order in order to be positioned to access the funds and the beautiful thing is that when we in november launched our own microloan program we were able to put ourselves in the seat of funder to say okay we have this money now we're taking in applications so out of the applications we saw i think only two were actually ready for prime time and so that means people did not have the business plan done, or if it was done, it wasn't up to par to get past the loan review committee. And I feel like our loan review committee was the most open, open hearted, embracing, want you to win. But if it's not good enough, it won't get through to uh, the financial institution, with, which for us is alternative savings. And then financials, like the cash flow projections and financial modeling weren't up to par. So this is why we're doing the session on Friday, because I want to map out for people what money is available. But now we have that inside knowledge to know exactly what you need to have done. And again, anybody that heard about the futurepreneur uh, money that they have a Black entrepreneurship program, it's the exact same thing. Business plan, cash flow projections. I think they look more at your credit too. But for all this funding that is going to be coming down the pipe, business plan on point, cash flow projections. So don't wait until it's announced and then you go to apply and your stuff's not ready. These are the things that Empowered Forex can now support you with way ahead of time. So as soon as they say, hey, applications are open, you're going to be ready. It's submitted and you're going to be ahead of the 95% of people that were waiting for, I guess, the green light to go on. Yes. And now they're gonna put together their business plan and figure out their cash flow, or they're gonna send what they have and realize it's not good enough. And then you get kicked. And so here's the reason that I know this. So I get calls from funders that are gonna be launching these programs. And I won't say which ones until they announce it's open but they need organizations to coach entrepreneurs. So right now the funders are not doing the coaching. So they're looking to organizations and they're like, hey, Empowered for X, we see that you do coaching. When we open our fund, could you help entrepreneurs do business plans and cash flow projections? ACBN, oh, we see that you're working with entrepreneurs of African Caribbean heritage. We have this black entrepreneurship fund. We now, uh, when they get the money or before they get the money, can you help them do their business plan and cash flow projection? Dude, this formula is right here. It's been laid out for us. So yes. we can get this money, but we have to be prepared. And the thing that I would say that as well, I know a lot of entrepreneurs say, I don't have time. I'm busy. I'm busy. I'm busy. We oftentimes talk about working in the business and working on the business and setting aside time to work with a subject matter expert who can help you build out your plan. Because remember, the plan isn't for the for us at Empowered Facts, the plan is for you. So we say, come alongside us, we will help you build that plan. But ultimately, you need to go in to be able to walk into the institutions and present such plan, right? Um, so right. we really work with you so that you understand the numbers, you understand what is in here, so that it is yours. <laughs> it is not ours, it's yours. <laughs> exactly. And that's yes. where it's 
it's disheartening when people get blocked because of things that they could have prepared for. So again, we talk about our relationships with banks. If we were fully prepared for that interaction, that's when you get further along in the process because you walk in professional, open your briefcase and you're just like, here's my do a tang with all my stuff. Oh, you need financial statements? Just do, 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 do. Here's financial state. You know, like, listen, whatever they, whatever they need, you got it. And that's the type of, confidence that we have to move with now we can't be passive and waiting for people to figure it out for us and like you said that plan is for you you're coming to us but we're helping you develop what you need to go get money and by doing that and becoming a success story and you know like that's the case study that we need to go and help more people so you become our ambassadors that we helped you go get the bag and now you know other people that need money and you'll send them to us so that we can support. And it's all about just sharing the knowledge. We've done different grants. We've done different loan applications. We know which ones weren't good and which ones were good. So we can show you, hey, this is what we submitted and support you in your applications. It's all an open book here at Empowered for X. Hey, no, enough, no, I would say enough respect if that's, you know, <laughs> a proper in this, in this seeing here. Mm -hmm. But Ryan, one of the things you talked about this session on Friday, um, give us a little bit more about what is it and it will be shared. The link will be shared in the description. You can check it out and join us for that session. So tell us a little bit more about the session on Friday. So on Friday, I, <laughs> on the weekend, I woke up in the middle of the night and I was thinking to myself, because I got that call during the day that, hey, can you help us coach entrepreneurs when we're going to release this fund? And I was like, I know what is coming and I know what people need to prepare. So I said, hey, I texted you like at 2 a.m. I was like, Chris, Beth, we need to do a session. I actually said Wednesday, but then Wednesday was full. So we said, OK, Friday, we'll take the week to let people know. But it's really just and I'm writing down, listen the Ontario Small Business Grant, people missed it. Why? They couldn't find their documents for their businesses. The Investment Readiness Program, people missed it. Why? They didn't come to our sessions and then they're scrambling at the last minute to apply and it's a lot of work. So that last day cram before the exam doesn't work in the grant world. So they miss it and it almost didn't get renewed, but it did get renewed. So now 50 million over the next two years is gonna be put back into it. That's coming up soon. And those are grants. The Black Entrepreneurship Program, the, the Black Entrepreneurship Fund is supposed to launch this month. So again, what do you need in order to get this money? Your business plan and cash flow. The, what's the next one? Futurepreneur. I mentioned that. So all the, this different funding, I said, okay, I'm just going to let people know exactly what is coming. And we know exactly what you need to get prepared. So don't wait for the investment readiness program to open their doors three months from now. And then you're coming to Empowered for X and saying like, hey, I heard about this grant, can you help us? Start now. And again, you finish it now. There's other grants and I'm not gonna go into it on Friday, but the last session that we did on our Wednesday grant writing program is showing like how to search for grants for for-profit companies. And that's something that you can actually get access to that recording, I'll send it over because the way that you can navigate getting grants, there's lots out there and there's like hiring grants, there's research grants, there's like you can hire students to become your project team and work on, hey, becoming your grant writers. It's, there's so many different ways to get support that, and this is something that we dig deeper into in the Grant Hunter University. So we actually opened the doors to people being able to get our support, go through any grants that you're trying to find, any grants that you do find that you want to write. We had, we pretty much put all of our videos and all of our intellectual property into this course. And you get weekly drop-ins with the team to say, hey, what are you working on? How can we help? So we want to make sure that it's accessible. People can get this help if they need the help. So Friday is all about what's available. The university is getting ready to, actually that's more for grants. For yeah. the Friday session is just pure business plan and Empowered Forex already has that support right through.